Hello and welcome back to Yoga with Jenny. Today we're going to do a yin stretch session and this one is a short session that's great to do after either a long day or after an intense workout and really just work the whole body and especially the areas where we tend to carry a lot of tension. So let's start by coming to hands and knees for a moment and then we're going to curl the toes under. So we're gonna get right into that stretch for the toes, release that tissue. You can keep your hands forward as you pull the hips back or you can walk those hands in. Now, comes the hard part. We're going to be here for about a minute or two. Just depends on how long <laughs> that time is passing for you, how long that second hand is going around the clock. You can start with your hands on your thighs, palms up or palms down. Maybe you wanna close the eyes, lift a little more through the crown of the head as you sink into your hips. And focus on the breath here. Breathing in through the nose and back out through the nose. We're halfway there. And walk your hands forward, uncurl those toes, and begin to tap the tops of your feet into the mat. And then we'll cross at the ankles, roll back and find a seat. Now, I want you to start with by bringing your feet together, knees wide, and we are going to tip forward. So heels can be in close or you can bring them far away. The closer in they come, the more intense the stretch will get. So wrap your fingers around your big toes, let the chin draw in, let the head drop. Feel your knees get heavy. And this is more about letting the body sink than how deep we're folding forward or how much we're opening our hips. Notice your chest getting a little heavier. Maybe you're sinking a little closer.
Don't let your breath become a second thought. We want to keep that present at the beginning of this stretch, throughout the middle and all the way to the end. Let's slowly lift our head. And let's hold on to the ankles for a moment and just wiggle our knees a little up and down. Like you're trying to flap little wings. And release. Let's come back to hands and knees. And from here, we are going to come into our dragon pose. So take your right foot, or sorry, your left foot, and step it forward, bringing it to the outside. Or you can bring that foot to the inside, whatever feels best. Back knee stays down. You can be on palms. You can come a little closer down to your forearms, or you can bring in blocks and place them under your hands if you have those at home. If it feels a little better to be on your knuckles or maybe you need to lift yourself up a little bit, go for it. So take your time here, getting settled in, and then close the eyes. Feel your left knee staying over your ankle. Feel the front of the right thigh lengthening, the right hip. And then take your left toes and point them out to the side. Walk your right hand in so it's about at the middle of your mat. And then take your left hand to your thigh. You can keep your foot planted down or for a little bit more, open up that knee. Gently look down, plant the left foot down again, walk the hands back, 
And let's take a little stretch there, straightening out the leg, keep the toes down. And then we bring that left knee back and we'll now do the right side, right foot steps forward. Hands come forward. Left knee stays grounded. Begin to settle in. Keep your right knee over that right ankle. Close the eyes. You're feeling that stretch across the front of your left hip. Across the left thigh. Now, rotate the right toes to point away from the body. Left hand walks in. Right hand can come to that thigh, or you can roll to the outer edge of your right foot as well. Keep sinking your hips. Gently look down, hands come down, toes point forward again, and we shift the hips back, keep that foot grounded as you fold the chest forward. And bend back into your right leg and bring the right knee back. Sit back into child's pose. Now from your child's pose, rotate the palms to face up. Thumbs pointing in opposite directions.
Now, bring your palms together. Bend at the elbows and let the hands rest on your upper back, letting those triceps lengthen. And then release your hands forward. Bring your knees in together. And then this time, release the arms back, shoulders draping over the knees, forehead coming down. Inhale, walk the hands forward and slowly begin to lift the head. Let's find a seat on our mats. Closing the eyes for a moment, taking a few moments to ground, bring one hand to the heart, one hand to the low belly. Notice how the body feels. Does it feel balanced? Can you bring your awareness everywhere equally? And 
then bring your hands together at heart center. Taking a moment to thank yourself for taking care of your body and carving out this time. As always, it's a pleasure and a privilege to guide you from my heart to yours. Namaste.